Well, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by NewQBR.com. NewQBR.com. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get memo line to print on checks in QuickBooks Online. That's QBO. Memo line to print on checks. So this has been a non-issue for a while. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, what happens. And uh, uh, how to resolve this. Okay, I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online uh, on page. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click plus sign and uh, I'm going to uh, show you what happens when you just uh, print one check. And I'm going to show you what happens when you uh, you know, enter this bill and pay bills uh, and print check and uh, uh, what happens in the memo line. Uh, so we're going to go through all these. Uh, so going from here, you know, it's, it's not accounts payable check. You just, you just print. It, it doesn't go through accounts payable. So if you want to make it accounts payable, you have to go through bill and pay bills and then print checks, right? So accounts payable. So I'm going to start from check screen here. Okay, I'm going to select one vendor. Uh, this is my demo file, so I don't have too many, right? So just uh, select one random account in here. Okay, and let's say the amount is uh, uh, 5000 Okay. Oops, I don't have that much money. Let's say uh, 1200 Okay, so 1200 I'm going to write a memo line in here, you know, something. Okay, and print check. So this is the one, 1200 right? Preview and print. So as you can see here, the memo line is here, right? Okay. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, okay, I'm going to go to bill now. So bill, right? I'm gonna select the same vendor. Let's say this one, and let's say this time is uh, fourteen hundred. So I'm gonna create a bill, an accounts payable. I'm gonna save this, and now I just want to make payment uh, directly from here. Right, so this is the bill payment screen, and then print check directly from here. So as you can see here, although I wrote memo line, but we won't print on check. So that's the that's the issue here. Okay, so uh, so now if you want to see memo line on print check, the only way you could do that is let's just select this one here, Ingram Computer. Okay, so I want, let's say you want to pay this one and this one, these two, right? Bill print checks. So these I'm sitting on the uh, accounts payable. You want to uh, pay bills. Okay, these two. And uh, so, so in order to show uh, memo line, you have to click the bill payment screen here. You have to go to bill payment screen here right here. On this one, I think I've already done it. See, just type it here like this, right? So it has to be, it's, it's going to be uh, uh, one more step. Oops. Bill payment, 600, right? So this is the bill payment screen now. Let's say this one here. So it's already there, right? Let's check this one, one by one now. So this one, uh, there's no uh, memo line. So you have to type memo line on bill payment screen. So save and close, 
right? Uh, I think this one already done. Yeah, so missing in here too. So I'm gonna type 1400, this is a memo line. Your, your memo line is gonna be of course totally different, right? Okay, so now I can uh, uh, make a batch print here. I can print all the all five from here. Okay, so preview and print. See one, it's there. Uh, is the second one is there? Third one right there. So here's another one. Right here, okay. The point here is, uh, uh, as I said, uh, you have to uh, click the blue payment screen before you uh, preview and print and uh, type it right here. If you have a bill number or whatever you want to say, you have to type it here. So, uh, so it's kind of uh, uh, additional time spent on uh, each uh, check printing but that's the only solution uh, I can think of right now. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video and visit our website, newqviewer.com, newqviewer.com. Thank you.